Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and I present you Road to Gold, starting with the M4. Alright, now, um, in this segment, uh, it's my quest to get all the guns gold, and I, I know I started kind of late, but, eh, eh, it's for fun. Anyways, I'm gonna tell you all there is about the gun, well, what I think about him, and, uh, some good perks, I guess, and yeah. And also, at the end of the video, so I'm gonna tell you a couple of things, you know, some, some things about my life. Some events, eh, so, something to keep you entertained. Well then, let's begin, shall we? Alright, our first gun here is the M4. Uh, it's unlocked right from the start, and I really enjoyed it while I used it, you know? It's really fast, it's... Well, the speed is fast, and then... You know, it's... it's The only thing I didn't like about it was the lack of power it had. Like, um, I'm used to just shooting a couple bullets and confirming the kill, but... Uh, it's either last stand or I don't really get the kill of and that's the only thing the That's the only drawback really because at the end of the game. I mean I do really good in this game I get like 43 and 12, but like the last minute I just keep on dying and dying Some of them are because they they were already shooting but other than that they just kill me because I Yeah, this weapon's not that strong. It's perfect though. It's good for everything Um, Yeah this gun is like, uh, I don't know, it's really should be one of the more upper class, like I, I believe another one should take its place as number one, like maybe the M16 because it's not as great as this one, but other than that, it's still good. Well, um, some of the perks I use are sleight of hand, and no, um, I use scavenger because it gives me a lot of more ammunition because I can really run out real quick. Especially in domination, you know, it's long nine, eight minute, ah, long eight, nine minute games. I use quick draw. Remember, I, I explained it already. And uh, stalker, just moving around. I use also uh, C4. I just love it. Uh, I love using C4, blowing up people. And portable radar, since I play bare bones and I have no problem with UABs. Just use my portable radar, and yeah, you know, kill people camp a little bit and yeah and when I say camp I really um, I don't really camp I, as you can see I move around a lot but uh, I guess some people are gonna say oh I'm not playing the objective and things like that um, in domination uh, I think there's three types of players there's the uh, people who camp the flags uh, I have no problem with that because they're just doing their job you know it's domination uh, people who get the flags uh, you need those two and um, there's a third type but yeah, that's I don't a lot of people play this and I, I do that and I really well I think personally I do a good job. My job, well, the third job is basically just disrupt enemies, just just make havoc, you know, just just destroy them, killing. Just like if someone's capturing A or B, and then I'll just go up there, help them out a little bit, like three seconds, and then just leave in front of them where the enemy's gonna come and you know just kill them. Like right here, they're they're trying to go to sleep, but I'm just stopping them. And yeah, you know, it's it works out. We win the match, and yeah. And I am kind of sorry that uh, I started kind of late. It's I didn't really thought about this until like have like three months after Modern Warfare 3 came out. I'm like, you know, I could do this, you know. But it's it's not easy, like I said before. And I got the idea from this YouTube channel, Per Speedy. You guys should check him out. It's it's really good. He's really good, and yeah, uh, I needed to buy my recording equipment, my component cables. Then I just play with, play around with it, and it's really, uh, it's not really, it's not fun. It's just entertaining just to do this. And wow, I can't believe I didn't sell that guy. Anyways, long story short, just kidding. It's still gonna keep on going for a little bit more. Um, I just, it, it takes a long time, like I said before, and it's kind of fun, but uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with that. Um, before I continue talking, uh, i like to make a shout out to my good friend, Baltzar. Uh I'm going to put his username, or his cousin's username, like, cousin's username. He plays Xbox Live, and I, I wish I could play him, but uh, I bet he sucks, so I, I'm, I'm not going to humiliate him. Maybe one day. Anyways, that's funny because I did already. Anyways, um, I'm gonna tell you a little story about me and Baltzar 
back in the day, junior high. Um, me and him, we were just getting out of, uh, what's, uh, yeah, it was science. We were in Mr. White's class, and yes, we had a teacher called Mr. White. Anyways, we were getting ready for lunch, and the school bell rang. So, I, I guess we were still immature, child, yeah, children, kids, whatever. And we ran towards the lunch line, and I, I was, I felt like a douche, and I, while we were running, I literally pushed him, and he fell into a bush, and it was hilarious. I just started cracking up, and I thought, damn, I'm a douche, and at the same moment, some old black lady, like, she, she was a yard duty, and she saw a star on the ground. And as she was coming towards us like, hey, like she literally yelled it out. And I was like, fuck, I am in trouble. I'm sorry for the language, guys, but yeah. And she comes up and just starts saying, oh, honey, are you OK? And I, I, I was in relief. I was like, oh, thank God I am not in trouble. Oh, my God. And yeah, I kind of feel bad. Even it's been over, what, almost four years. And I still feel kind of sorry for Baltasar. <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> And another story from us back in the days were, or was, uh, yeah, it was also in Mr. White's class. Uh, yeah, that was the only class we had, so we had to do this packet, and I, I didn't want to do it, and he did it, and he turned it in. I think it was three weeks, and I still didn't turn it in, and everyone got their packets back. And another week passed by, and Mr. White said, all right, um, Fernando, do you have it, yes or no? And I told him, um, yes, I have it. Let me just get it together. And, oh, look, nice triple right there. So, I told him I had it, and, uh, what did I do? I asked Baltzar, let me see you real quick. And he did, and he thought I was going to copy it or something. And I didn't. I just, I literally took off the papers that I needed from his packet. I scribbled his name off. And I stapled it to my packet, and I, in the end, I got more points than him. I just started, oh, we started cracking up, and he, he, he whined a lot after that one. It was fun. But now I guess Karma's back, and, you know, he, I help him out a lot. I'm, I'm not complaining or anything, but, yeah, you know, he's, he's a good friend. I got his back. Anytime, anytime. So now switching the story to prehistoric times. Uh, I believe it was 12 years ago. Uh, I think I think. And back then, I was a huge Star Wars fan. Like every movie, every. I think every, yeah, every book too. And I told my cousins, "All right, let's reenact this one scene from Star Wars Episode One." And we did. They were down for it. And I got my dad's phone, which had a camera. Or, yeah, a, vi a video camera. And I said, okay, I'll be the camera guy and you. My cousin Roger, he's a bit younger than me, like two or three months. I told him, you're going to be the bad guy. And my other cousin, who's a year younger than us, I told him, you're going to be the good guy. So, in the scene, um, oh, uh, yeah, it's, no, it's Darth Maul kills, yeah, Darth Maul kills uh, Qui-Gon. Because he stabs him right in the chest. So I told my cousin what they had to do. And we were playing with pool sticks. So I said, all right, you're going to try to aim at his, was it chest? No, in between his arm and shoulder so you won't hurt him. No, never mind. I meant um, arm and chest, yeah. And we did, but back then we were small. So when my cousin staffed backwards, Roger got hit right in the nutsack. And he couldn't get up. We were started, we started cracking up. Uh, Oh my god, it was just hilarious. And yeah, well, anyways, th thanks guys for watching this video, and yeah, subscribe, alright? Peace and whatnot, and stay out of drugs. What?